Which, you know what, I, I stopped the interview, but I've got to ask you about the Mike Tyson fight. This Which one? The Mike Tyson fight, back in the day, I was there in Manchester. You come out to uh, Tupac Ambitions as a rider, I remember that. Uh, uh, yeah. But you come out to the, the, the army, the military theme. The yeah, the military, because I was, I was actually well, training in... My my um, training camp was at uh, Aldershot Army Base, so that's why I was, and it, for two reasons really, because it was a great facility, plus the general public couldn't get in on there, in on there and disturb me or anything, you know. So I was locked away. I was happy. I was away from the general public. It was it was cool. It was nice, you know. And I had, I had everything was just kind of geared towards me. Of course, you went in <coughs> as a sizable underdog, but you yeah. showed a lot of bottle because you know, put you down a few times, you kept getting up. And uh, what was it like to actually uh, face like a ferocious sort of Mike Tyson? You still had the angles and the uppercuts. You know, is it, the, what I would say about about the the fight itself is that yes, I remember the fight itself and how the fight went. And obviously, I'm, I'm going. We're going back 22 years now. Um, go in, but you got to remember that Tyson was sure, go in, go in, still this ferocious, fierce boxer. Great skills, and I and and yeah, yeah. I'd watched cool, cool. him come up through the through the game. I've, I so, out, um, um, just show me tickets. Um, so watching him fight, and then actually being in there in the ring with him, for me was not only um, kind of an honour, as it were, but then maybe a little bit of a dream come true and then maybe for me as well obviously i was trying to secure my legacy and my future you know what i'm saying so i and i wouldn't have stepped back from it and i when i was offered the fight it didn't take me two seconds to say yes of course i'm fighting you know that because that's part and parcel of what a fighter does um <clears throat> how i grew up I wasn't going to take a backward step from no one. I, I went through all these crazy, crazy stuff in my life, and you know, um, at the time, Tyson was the next, the next man on the on the list, as it were. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, I would. The only thing I would do the same thing again, but the only thing I would change is the outcome. That would be. Would you I, to fight you went no, 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 no. I wouldn't have, because you got to. You got to remember, if I'd have, if I'd have run around the ring. He wouldn't, have, he wouldn't have respected me. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have respected me, and, and I, so I had to go in there and and, and fight the man. You know what I'm and I think that's the thing with me in general. I'm, I'm not going to take a, I'm not going to take a backward step from him. He wasn't going to take a backward step from me, and I'm not going to take a backward step from him. That's how it was. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he knocked me down five times, but what happened? As he knocked me down, I got back up. That's that's a, that's the metaphor for life. Absolutely, it's never over until it's over. Absolutely, and it's gonna get.